Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Contenders Football. Six box, pick your team number seven. I've got the list hot off the presses right here. Very big thanks to all these folks right here. Now if you've got a rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in that team random. It's in a separate video. If you have a star next to your name, that means it's the last spot Mojo star. Liam got like the last seven teams all at once. So thank you very much, Liam. Appreciate that. And we just have to see this break before the end of the night. So there you go. Got it in just before the deadline. All right, so let's pop this guy open here. Just a six box break. Boxers, oh, what a, uh, it's these, what a mess. There's still box, there's still boxes inside here. Oh boy, that was, it's been a long week, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so let's make, let's just build a stack of six right here. There's three right there, four, five, six, and there's one, two, three, four, five, and then six over here. All right. So we're gonna select a die, we'll roll the die. One, two, three for the left stack, four, five, six for the right. We'll use that one right there. And it's gonna be six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. This we will save for next time. All right, so this will be, what is this? Pick your team seven, so this will be pick your team eight. So I'm gonna mark all these PYT eight. Is that true, Rex? I kinda like that movie. It was, it's not so bad. All right, I think it's been a minute or two since we've done this contenders. Five autographs, including one per box right here. You Googled it, it's true. Eh? That's, if you have Disney Plus, is it on Disney Plus? I think it's a Disney movie, right? Tangled? About Rapunzel, who's quarantined in the kingdom she lives in is Corona. Yeah. I think that's a Disney movie. Who's the voice? Someone famous did the voice of Rapunzel. Mandy Moore, maybe? Mandy Moore. Rex says, I think it's Manny Moore, yeah. Your Mandalorian season two? I wonder how many, because of all this COVID, I wonder how many productions have been delayed. Black Gold's like, I'm waiting for Mandalorian season two. I was like, yeah, me too. And then I was like, wait a second. Wait a second. What, uh, what if that production is delayed because of all the coronavirus stuff, all the COVID-19? Damn you, COVID-19. All right, we got Jacksonville, Josh Allen's are first. That'll go to the Jags. That'll be for Cameron. Oh, we got a die cut autograph, Miles Boykin to 80. There you go. That'll be for the Ravens. Cameron gets that one. He won that in the team random. He's on the board. Looks like a ticket stub, I think, is the design. They're still saying November. Well, hopefully, if they finish shooting everything, then I think 
guess I guess they can just edit it on their own, or with fewer, with far fewer people. So maybe that'll be okay. Do you like you like Clone Wars, Scott? The Clone Wars animated series is on its seventh and final season. They just released that a few weeks ago, and Ahsoka actually made her return to that show too. Oh, I'll do randomizers for that. I think it picks up right where the final season had left off. The animated series, it's pretty good. It's not too shabby. I mean, if you've got time, we're worth rewatching all the all the other seasons too, and just go right into it. There's Elijah Holyfield for the Panthers. That'll go to Liam. There's Deshaun Watson to 175. Yeah, what, what, are, what about COVID-18? COVID-18 is like, I didn't get nearly this much, this much attention. There's Ban Banigou, Colts. That'll be for Anthony. Got that team in a team random. Deontay Harris, rookie ticket for the Saints. That'll be for Denny, who got this team in a team random. Yeah, Rebels is quite good, too. I think after they do Clone Wars, after this season is done, I've heard a rumor, just on some, not, nothing substantial, but there's there's been some speculation, I, I should say, that's a better better word, speculation that they'll do another season of clone or of rebels to wrap up that series because that kind of left on a on a bit of a cliffhanger and they maybe do a season to wrap that up possibly for next year yeah i heard kenobi's on hiatus maybe maybe even a little bit longer with covid because i don't think they, sh they started shooting anything yet I think for that they're struggling to find a good story. They're trying to they're struggling to find a good uh, script for that. I think early reports seem to indicate that the Kenobi script felt a little too close to it being a little Mandaloriany. So I think they can't really mind that again. I think Kenobi deserves like a pretty. I don't know. It's tough. Because because the Obi Wan Kenobi series is supposed to be his time on Tatooine allegedly it's supposed to be and so it kind of locks you into a weird like if I'm if I put my writer cap on this is kind of a good writing cap if I put my writing cap on and think about how I would try to script out a series there it's a little difficult because you you're locked into this weird time period that everyone knows about but also doesn't know about at the same time so I can see where that could be a challenge. And you don't want to screw it up, you know, like, I'm glad it didn't, but if Mandalorian failed, everyone would have been like, all right, you know, whatever. It's not like you're taking this beloved character and ruining it, but a lot more pressure with, with Kenobi. Uh, thanks, Stephen Punk. Apparently, WrestleMania is going to be on ESPN tomorrow night at seven o'clock. Is the uh, is Stone Cold Steve Austin going to be out there? Because I'd like to give I'd like to see him give people the double bird, and then drop the Stone Cold Stunner on a few people. Maybe The Rock will come out, and let us know if we can smell what he is cooking. That'd be fantastic. Right, those guys are still around, right? It's Carson Wentz. I thought it was gonna be an autograph for a second, but that's just to ninety-nine. But there's another eagle right there. That's Marcus Green. There you go. Signed by the Eagles on that date right there. So that goes to the Eagles. That autograph will be for Bradley. Oh. It's Stone Cold is not going to be there, according to Stephen Punk. All right. What about, the Rock is not going to be there either, apparently. Jordan Ellis, Bengals, Liam Oney. What about, what about the Hulk? Hulk Hogan, will he be there? Will he be driving himself into a frenzy, into a state of Hulkamania? Imploring the crowd that he needs to hear them. Will, will he be doing that? Will he be there?
DeAndre Baker goes to the Giants, by the way. That'll be for Jeremy. There's Chase Winovich going to the Patriot, Derwin. Harris Campbell, Colts. That's going to go to Anthony Pickett, who got the Colts in the team random. The Blue Horseshoes. I don't know why I top loaded that. I was trying to know I was going to top load all those later. All right. You know, speaking of Star Wars and wrestling, watch this. Speaking of Star Wars and wrestling, um, Freddie Prince Jr., the actor Freddie Prince Jr., was the voice of Kanan Jarrus in Star Wars Rebels. Before he was the voice of Kanan Jarrus on Star Wars Rebels, he also spent a number of years writing for WWE, I think, or F, WWE, F. He did some writing for professional wrestling for at least a few, two, three years, I think. He's a big wrestling fan. Freddie Prince Jr.'s wife. Right, he wrote for SmackDown, right? Stephen Punk saying, there you go, thank you. His wife, Sarah Michelle Geller, uh, also did a voice on one of, for one of the villains in, in Star Wars Rebels. Oh, I want to, yeah, what channel is that? Tyson wants to know too. Sam Strayer, what, what channel is that going to be on? NASCAR iRace tomorrow. I think like, I think they're, are they wheeling out some old retirees? I think Jeff... Gordon, maybe? Dale Earnhardt Jr.? I think Jr.'s going to... They're going to race. Gonna do some eye racing. FS1. What time is that? I definitely want to do... I want to say there's there. I don't know. I don't know who it is. Maybe there's multiples of these, but I want to say there is a somewhat. There's a somewhat prominent driver who, as a kid, originally started out i racing. There's Drew Sample, and get got kind of good at it. Liam with the Bengals, and then his dad was like. I, dad didn't want him sitting in front of a computer screen, so I actually got him out to do the real thing. And they ended up being pretty good and is now on the NASCAR circuit. Jimmy Moreland going to Andrew, I think. I heard that story somewhere. And there's Darwin Thompson, Chiefs. That'll go to TJ Poyer. 130 Eastern? 130 Eastern is kind of early for me. Easton Stick from Easter, East Eastern time to Easton Stick. One out of 99 Chargers. That goes to Michael Gallucci, Steel Curtain, and the Chargers. All right, that might be. Hopefully, they'll replay it, Sam Strayer. Points will randomize to one person in the break. All right, halfway through this half case break, ladies and gentlemen. This is our last break of the night, but join us tomorrow, 2 o'clock Pacific, 5 o'clock Eastern. We'll be doing this craziness all again, maybe the second half of this break. This is just the first half.
All right, so I racing. Who are the who are the uh, drivers, Sam? Do you, do you do you have any more information on that, if you don't mind? I mean, who are the drivers that have that are going to be I racing? Because I think there's some pretty big names there. FS1, 1:30 Eastern. To get your to get your uh, auto racing fix, which I don't mind, and a rerun at seven east. Oh, awesome! That's perfect timing for me, Tice. Thank you. Yeah, Maybe it should be interesting. I, I heard about it this week, and I'm glad Sam reminded me. All right. Next box, rockin' rollin'. Redemption. Alexander Manis, Rookie of the Year. Can, ah, more points. Winner take all on the points, by the way, per tradition. Come on. Well, there must be a huge... No, that was a set. Did, did, wait, was that the same box? Different box? Wait, were those two points in the same box? Travis Homer, autograph. That's for the Seahawks, Nicholas L., And NFL Inc. Devonte Parker. Dolphins. That's going to go to Jeremy Thirty Three. You got the Dolphins in that team. Random. You got Rock Yasin. Another blue horseshoe going to Anthony. And the hit here. The redemption is Drew Locke. Nice. Sorry. I almost wrote something else. I was going to write Indianapolis. It's not. It's Denver. Drew Locke. See? I'm losing my mind here at the end of this week. Jay Remington and the Broncos. Two boxes to go. So Tice saying that it's Junior, Kyle Bush, Bobby Labonte, Brad E? Oh, Keslowski, maybe? Is that what you're saying? Joey Logano, Danny Hanlon, Clint Boyer, and Kyle Larson. That's that's not a bad group. You know what I think they should do for MLB opening day? If these guys are doing eye racing, each team each team should get the bet their best like MLB the show player. Or something like that. And have them play on like Twitch or something. Like have them play the actual opening day game. Like like I think the Dodgers were opening I think the Dodgers were playing the Giants, I think. Just whoever the best video game player is on the Giants and take the best video game player on the Dodgers and have them play the actual Dodgers Giants game. You know? And that will be opening day and we can all watch it. You can know these players like play. I think that'd be really fun if they would arrange that. I think the kids would really like it, you know. And I think uh, give. I think I think a lot of people will actually like it. If you see, if you saw like, you know, the player from one, each team dressed in their full uniform, but they're playing a video game with like the headset on and everything. And they're on Twitch and they're playing each other. I think that would be great. Ooh, I think you're. I think. I think that's who I'm thinking of. I think it was William Byron who started off i racing first. Stephen Punk saying, "Joe, they're not going to cancel baseball, are they? I hope not." I mean, I, 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 you have to hope that that every that, 
I mean, there's there's too much money involved. Like it's like for for leagues to start canceling seasons. Basketball, I could actually see. We actually talked about these other other day. I think Rex asked when we thought baseball was going to happen. Some people didn't think for a long time. I disagree with that. But I could see other sports not happening, though. I could see NBA not happening. But baseball is such a different sport where you can spread... Like, players are not in direct contact with with each other in the way football or baseball is, or football or basketball is. Jimmy goes to... Jimmy Moreland goes to Andrew. So I, I'm... Basketball, I'm definitely concerned about. Baseball, I'm not as concerned about. You can still play in empty stadiums. You can have... Seattle and the Bay Area teams play in Arizona where their spring camps are and just play in empty stadiums as long as their staff and players are okay. Cole Holcomb also for Andrew. So I'm more confident about about baseball. Oh, wow, another red skin out of this box. Personal box for Andrew. 90 out of 99, Terry McLaurin. So it could be severely delayed. We may not start until June or July. But I think baseball will happen. How it will happen, that is up in the air, but baseball, I think, will happen. NBA, I'm not terribly confident about just because it's such a such a more physical, in-your-face kind of sport. A lot of player safety issues there. I mean, maybe you even get away with it in football just because, but I don't know, maybe even football you can't get away with it if it continues through the fall. Basketball, I'm worried about There's uh, Demarcus Christmas, Seahawks. That'll go to Nicholas. There's Bruce Anderson, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Nicholas L. All right, last box in this half case break. But. Whether any of these sports start, start all depends on, on how we as a population decide to stay indoors, you know, isolate for a little bit, not do anything silly, you know, and how – and it also depends on how much these big corporations, big leagues that have a lot of money, right? Because you can kind of throw money at this problem, I think, you know, how many – how much resources – how much resources are they going to put into this to shorten this or at least test more often, try to flatten the curve as we've all been hearing on the news and all that sort of stuff? We can do that. I mean, if you look at if you look at cases in, in China and Korea, you know, like there's lessons to be learned there. Things are kind of after only a couple of months, things are kind of getting back to normal. But then the scary part is you look at cases in, in like northern Italy and you're just like, what's going on there? And then we're kind of in this weird like sort of sort of middle ground. But I don't know. Scary times for sure, but we all I mean to end this as quickly as, or to, to kind of cap this as quickly as possible, you know, I think we just have to, we, we, everyone has to be proactive and positive and, and, and in the meantime, help each other out, the community out, instead of, instead of panicking or feeding the panic. We just have to keep, keep on keeping on, ladies and gentlemen. There's Melvin Gordon the third to 99. He's in Denver now, but that still goes to the Chargers. Dave says what? You hope things will get closer to normal back by Memorial Day? That'd be nice. There's Trayvon Mullen Jr. There's Damian Willis for the Bengals. Liam Mahoney. There's Mac Wilson. Cleveland Browns. Scott with that one on the board. NFL Inc. Devontae Parker. I think that's another one for you, Jeremy. That's to 199.
Nick Bosa. Nice. Victor Z. On card auto of your defensive rookie of the year. That's a strong way to finish this break. In this last box right there. Nice. Should be maybe one or two more. Let's see what we got before we call it. I thought there might I wasn't I should have been keeping count. Five autographs a box. I thought there was gonna be one more, but maybe maybe not. Maybe not. Sorry. False alarm. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate everybody sticking with us, hanging with us, spending time with us. We appreciate it in these weird times. But listen, we're gonna do our best. To, uh, to keep things light for you. as light, We're going to do what we can to keep things light for you here at Jaspies. Hopefully everyone just stays safe out there. And we'll all get through this together. Now, for the points, winner take all on the points. Everyone has a shot at those points, by the way. All right, let's roll it, randomize it. Five and a five, ten the hard way. Uh, top, clean. I was thinking clean. Stay clean, folks. Top, bottom. <laughs> Keep your bottoms clean too. Five and a five, ten the hard way. One, two, three, four. See, it's been a long week, folks. Five, six, seven. I'm typing what I'm thinking. Eight, nine, and ten. After ten times, the bottom is on top. So it goes to the bottom teams right here. And the points. Five and a five, ten, the hard way. Name on top will get all the points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. After ten times, wait, still the tab is still spinning. There you go. After ten times, it's Michael Gallucci. You'll get two 250 points cards going your way. Thanks for watching, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.